Hi everyone, welcome again. So in this video, we will focus on the find methods of CRUD repository using Spring Data JPA. So let's see what we have and what we have to build. We have an existing MySQL database and a mapped entity with that table. Then in that table, which is user table, we have some records. And in this video, we will see how to use find methods to read those records. So find all, find by ID and find all by ID. Here I am in the MySQL, which is the existing database. So I'm using MySQL. And in this database, we have this table user, which right now has four records. So this is the primary key ID, name, email, active, which is a Boolean. So that's why we see zero and one corresponding values in the database and the registration date. So we have this table, we have the data. Now we have to write the code using Spring Data JPA to read these records. Let's move on to the code. Before we begin, this is a simple project, but if you are absolute beginner with Spring Data JPA, I recommend you watch my previous video on the same topic, which talks about the basic Spring Data JPA setup, uh, creating a project using Spring Initializer, uh, writing this entity class and this user repository class, which will help you. Here, this is an existing code, a small code, so let's see the pom.xml first. In the pom.xml, we have the key dependencies like Spring Data JPA starter and MySQL connector because we are using MySQL. That's it. We don't need any additional or special dependency. This is a simple dependency project which can be created from Spring Initializer. Just include Spring Boot Starter Data JPA and MySQL connector. Then we have the entity class user which has been mapped to the user table by using at the rate entity annotation and id is the primary key so we used at the rate id and at the rate generated value and because names of all these properties match with the column names so we don't need to add any other annotation on the columns we just need to add at the rate entity and at the rate id now moving on to user repository because we need a repository so we created an interface user repository, which is extending CRUD repository. The type is user, which we created the type of entity and the type of primary key, which is long. The good thing is because we are using CRUD repository, we don't need to write implementations of CRUD operations. This is all provided by the spring at runtime. So if we go back to the main class here, we have the application runner bean, which we are using to execute our code just before the run method or just before the completion of run method not before the run method and in this application runner bean we have passed this user repository and because this is annotated as bean it means that this particular bean has a dependency on user repository so spring boot will create the instance of user repository and it will auto inject so in this method in this bean method, we will have access to user repository. So we can use the user repository. Now we need to use this user repository, which is actually extending the CRUD repository. So we have access to all the methods defined in the CRUD repository, which is coming from the spring. So if we write user repository dot find, then we see three methods that we are going to cover find by ID, find all, and find all by id so so let's use this find by id and because we know the data type of the primary key is long so we are going to use long dot value of and let's pass an existing id so here we have 1 2 52 and 102 so this is the one we want to read to do that we'll pass one and it returns the optional now the benefit of optional is we can say something like this if present so we are saying if you find the record then print the record that's what we are going to do we can do anything if present we can pass a consumer and we can do anything with this record but for this demo we are going to simply print it now let's run the program so here we got the record on the console the id is one name is name email is email at the rate email.com so data is matching here from this row 
and if you notice when we called find by id hibernate triggered a query using the id attribute so if you see the where clause it is passing the id that we passed so it automatically triggered a select query which is returning the corresponding record moving on so let's see what if we pass a non-existing id in this case one exists in the database so we got the record back but what if we pass an invalid id and there is no corresponding record what happens then because this is returning optional so we can use the capabilities of optional to handle this case let's see this so this is returning an optional of type user because we have the user entity so we can say optional of user and user like this and then we can say something like this in the simplest form that user dot is present if we got the user back then we can do like this we can simply get the user printed else if there is no value in the optional then it means we couldn't find the record So we are using the optional that we got we are simply checking if this is present if the value is present then print the value by using the get method and if not then simply print a warning message that we couldn't find the record now let's change it and do something like 56 which is not in the database And this time we see the message we could not find the record so this is the clean way to handle such scenarios using optional now let's move on there is another method that we want to cover which is find all find all you can use the find all if you want to read all the records so this is going to trigger a select star query without any where clause now find all method returns an iterable which means it's a collection so we can iterate over the collection on all the records and we can write the logic to do something with those records maybe we simply want to print them or do something else so in this case because this is a table so we can iterate on this collection we are going to use for each pass it a lambda a consumer and what we want to do is we want to simply print all the users returned by this find all and let's put a separator here okay and we don't need this anymore so we can comment it and let's run the program So it ran fine and if you notice this time hibernate triggered a query on the user table which is selecting all the columns from the user table but there is no where clause so this will read all the records and here we see those four records with id 1 2 52 and 102 so that's how we use find all now there is one more which is user repository dot find all by id which means let's say we don't need to read all the records but we still need to records in bulk so we may pass n number of ids to get the corresponding n number of records in this case we can pass an iterable a collection of ids and in return we get a collection so let's use this one find all by id and now we need to pass a collection of ids so what we can do we can create a list of type long ids list dot of let's pass two values long dot value of one and the second record that we are going to read is this one so 52 long dot value of 52 and then we'll pass this collection to find all by id 
and we know that this is going to return a collection so we can do the same thing we can apply this for each to print the individual records so let's run the program so we got the output back two records with id 1 and 52 exactly what we passed and notice the select query triggered by the hibernate selecting all the columns from the user table but this time there is this where clause on the id with in so in this video we learned how to use three methods simple find methods find by id find all and find all by id in the next video we'll continue our discussion and we'll see how to write our own methods in this user repository interface to trigger find by queries so queries like this find me all the users with email equals to x and id equals to y queries like this so stay tuned and thanks for watching.